What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to... Felon Fridays with Prison Architect. Shiba 73 from the Double E Show. I uh, botched up my intro there. So, there you go. See, I'm I'm very much imperfect. So, as I said in the, uh, the escape video, the next video would be done um, for a maximum security type prison. And it would be huge. And we are going to make it as inescapable as possible and we are going to do it with unlimited funds but the goal is at some point with all the money that we spend to make it profitable so make it have a positive cash flow hence why we're going to use maximum security prisoners and we're going to try to make it as efficient as we can while also making it um, as effective as we can now I came in and I did some pre-prep um, uh, before I show you the mod list and and uh, we start laying out uh, planning uh, I just wanted to give you a view of the map this was the starting area and I bought the upper the back and and below so now we have nice big area to build on and I made uh, um, we're calling it four corners state penitentiary a double E facility and um, we're gonna utilize these four squares for everything that you would need for a maximum security prison. Oh, I got I got my workers standing around outside. And uh, yeah. Now what I had to do is I had to put in some administration um, to go through the tech tree. Um, I have researched everything but psychology because once you research psychology, um, the needs of your workers then come into play even if you don't have prisoners. So I'm waiting to research psychology until we've get we get everything built and um yeah and then once we get everything built then we'll start working on uh hiring uh the the staff and bringing in the prisoners and then we'll we'll research psychology and bring in the needs i do have a couple things left with legal to do legal prep which will be in case there's a failure condition um, come up when we can do legal defense and um, execution liability which lowers the execution liability percentage from I believe 10% to 5% um, or f uh, ups it from 5% uh, to 10% so instead of having to get it down to 5% chance of reoffending rate you can execute them at 10% chance of reoffending rate without uh, any liability if you're wrong so Legal prep and execution liability are being researched by the lawyer, and the legal department, legal defense, uh, will be in case we need it. You do it then. So that's that. So I will not move these buildings until um, that is researched. I'm going to go ahead and put it on slow. Now it's taken me a little over an hour to lay out all the roads um, and and get everything laid out here. Uh, yeah, and so that's what's been playing there. Let's show you the mod list. So we are working with the Perimeter Servo mod. These are all Steam Workshop mods. The Perimeter Servo allows you to place a, uh, a door servo on a perimeter wall. Um, whereas before you couldn't place it on a perimeter wall, if you had a perimeter wall leading up to a servo, you had to do the last piece as a concrete wall. Um, and then place the servo on the concrete wall. You still cannot run electrical or plumbing through perimeter walls. So we do have to plan for that accordingly. I do have the electric radiators um, as we don't want to run hot water piping everywhere. We can use the electricity that's provided within the prison and do electric radiators. I have rooms under doors. That way if I want to make a bathroom in a staff room uh, it doesn't decrease the size of the staff room having the doors on the johns. Uh, advanced roads, that allows me to put road markings on the roads, um, uh, side, uh, the, the, the bike lane markings, the crosswalk markings, things like that. It's just for aesthetics. The visitor table allows me to rotate the visitor table uh, 360 degrees. All four ways you place it, you can have, you can rotate it around. So that way, the prisoner isn't always on one side, and then you're limited to how you lay out the room. I have working bookshelves by Domchu. 
Uh, luckily, he put his own credit in there. Working bookshelves means that every time you place a bookshelf in a room, the prisoners will actually read the books from the bookshelf and fulfill their literacy needs. Uh, extended staff detectors. Now, that's, I, I, if I recall correctly, uh, to detect various groups of staff with the uses of some groups as, as my, like, uh, with use of groups as my evacuation mod. There are various classes of people you can detect with any range of two squares. You can boost this range by one with every range booster you place and make it so that it won't activate if there are prisoners within the range by adding the, 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 the gate prisoners upgrade. Uh, the range upgrade can be added with one block. Uh, detectors in the utility menu, upgrades in the object menu. Um, so if you have staff detectors on the, on the doors, it'll open the doors for staff, but not for prisoners. So if a prisoner walks up to it, it won't automatically open the door. Um, yeah, so you put a servo in, you put the staff detector, you hook it to the servo, and that way you don't have to wait for guards to unlock doors and stuff like that. Road sensors. Um, so road sensors, if I wanted to lay down gates and I put a road sensor in front of the gate, I hook that up to the, uh, the, the, the door servo, and it'll sense when there's a vehicle or a person, and it'll automatically open the gate for them rather than having to hook it to a door control, door control uh, station. And then the snitch sorter... Uh, is back, but I'm using the advanced version which will ignore death row and super max prisoners. If you have a death row inmate come in and he's a snitch, instead of making him a uh, protective custody snitch, it'll keep him as death row. And same thing if you have a super max prisoner comes in and he is a snitch or ex law enforcement, rather than making him protective custody, it'll leave him as super max. Now, the reason why that's important is we're starting out with maximum security. If one of those maximum security prisoners commits murder, he will go to supermax as a rating. And uh, and then, you know, if he happens to be a snitch as well, yeah, you get what I'm saying. So those are the mods that I have activated. You can see I have other mods that I've played around with and stuff like that. But these are the ones. These are the mods we're using. So... Let's get to planning. My idea here is to make this as extremely difficult to escape as possible because after we're done all the building and after we're done uh, all the 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 uh, the playthrough, I want to try to escape the mod. And see, I did little crosswalks across the streets. Um, can't do it on the main road that that is uh, initially um, placed. But you can do it on on the 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 roads that you add. Now, what I'm doing here is in the back of the prison. I have it set that the uh, cargo will come down the back the back lane here. Intake. So prisoners will be delivered at the back of the prison instead of the front of the prison. I feel that's necessary um, to limit the prisoners and the people coming to visit the prisoners, coming in the same door. Uh, and then come all the way over here. And I've got this one set for uh, uh, the garage. I, I don't know what the garage is. I have no idea. But I set it to garage on that lane and emergency vehicles on that lane. And there you go. So that's where the roads are. Let's get to planning. So, I've left the five gap. Four is buildable because the last one on the edge of the map is never buildable. So if I come in here to walls and do this, and it, of course it's auto saving there, that's big enough for a guard tower in there. Right? So if I do that and I go that, there's my guard tower. And if I go like that, and I do that, there's my guard tower. Actually, let's do this. Right. Because then we're going to bring this all the way down. We're going to come down to about here. So where's this road going? This road is going right there. Yeah. All right. 
right, four by four. Like that. Right? Right. Okay, four by four like that. I'm gonna take all of the, that away. No, that's not right. It's gonna be four by four like that. And I made that too big. Because of the road. Right? So then here, we're gonna have four by four like that. Then we're gonna bring the wall. Actually, on this side. Maybe on this side too. Yeah. I'm gonna remove this. I don't, I don't want the road tight against the wall. I want to have a verge on the side of the road because it's going to be very well lit. Come down here. And... Is it like that? I wonder if on these I put the entrance to it there. I think on these I do. Yeah. Okay. So you can you get an idea of what it is I'm trying to do here. Four four by four. Right. Like that. And we'll do that. And we'll do like this coming up. So there's a verge on each side of the road. Like that. Like that. Boom. This and that. Hmm. Like that. Come across this way. Alright, now we're gonna stop there. First thing I wanna do is I wanna double check that I've made everything the same. these off the road here by one. No, I think I want them tight against the road and then the wall to be like that. So then the wall will be like that. Yeah, okay. Alright. So then we come down here. And do Yep. Yep. And four by four there and four by four there like that. And then across this way, come over to here. So now, what's the size of this? That's a four by six with the guard tower in the middle. We can do that. The guard tower in the middle. And we'll make the entrance there. Or do I do it? Hold on. Or do I do a guard tower 
there. Another tower there. 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 Tower there, and guard tower there. These are going to be slightly overkill. I get that. We have to remember the facilities. We have to remember the facilities for the for the guards. Why is he stuck down here? Okay, he got stuck on the bottom corner of the map there. He'll go. He'll do his thing, I think. And then four by four. This one here goes like that. Yep. So the planning is the part that takes the most time. part that we're going to spend the most time on getting right because once we get the planning in and then we'll start the building and back up here I want to close that I don't need it for now 4x4 four four. you're going to be there and 4x4 four four. you're going to be there Four by four, you're going to be there. And four by four, you're going to be there. So now if I take this and I go all the way across, and we're going to landscape the crap out of this place. So we're going to have a lot of landscapers. All right, so if I come up here and I go four by four, take that out that and I come like this and I go four by four get rid of that like that and come like that so there's guard towers there four by four four by four hmm these might Not sure on those ones yet. I'm hoping that the the laser sights can cover these distances. I've I've seen them go a pretty good distance. So if that's to that, then maybe I need to do here and here. Auto-saving. We'll do that and that. They're going to come up to here. This is going to come up to here. So these these are accessible from inside this prison square. These are accessible from the roads. This is going to be perimeter wall. This is going to be uh, hmm. So do I want a road gate there? I think I'm going to have to do a 4x4 four four here.
there. I think I'm going to do road gate there. Yep. Yeah. I'll do a road gate there. The road gate there. Yeah. So where was that? Trying to make them sy symmetrical so that it looks better. Right on. Spot on. Okay, then coming down to the entrance. We're going to have another road gate there. gate here yeah and let's see what will I have here this road. So that's going to be sidewalk. Will I have a road gate there? I'm not sure I can rotate road gates that way. I might have to, I, I believe, let me just double check here, objects, okay. So I've got small road gates I can put in, and they take up a space of two. So I could have there and there. Okay, so let's go back to planning. And I do gates there. Bring these along. And bring these along. Okay, so this is four by four. Put the entrance there. And this is four by four an entrance there. You know, that's going to go that way. And we put in a road gate. Well, two road gates here. that will be one and two. And then those will be the stanchions. That should work. We'll put in a road gate there. And a road gate there. back on. Right there. Okay, so I think aside from putting in the this one across. 
So this is all perimeter wall and sniper towers. So in the cross, should run right into this. It does. Bring that one across, and it should run right into this one over here. Do I have them all? No, oh, I gotta do this one here. Okay, so. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36 sniper towers. Any problem with that? I don't believe there's any problem with that. That's a lot of snipers. So that's 64 snipers on duty. Well, 64 snipers to hire. They are expensive. But they will be there to prevent escapes. So let's also, while we are here, put in road gate, road gate, road gate. Did I do that right? Make sure that I did that right. I did not do that right. Okay, so why do I have that one up there with the opening down below? there. Road gates there. Road gates there. This place is going to be gated like crazy. Road gates there. Is that where I did it on this one over here? Just to be sure, I did not. I did it closer to the other side. There, not there. Okay. And lastly, road gate there. Road gate there. Road gate there. Road gate there. Come over here. And the road gate. Oh, come on, autosave. Road gate there. Okay. As far as I can tell, everything has been road gated. We'll have mini gates, we'll have regular sized road gates, and we'll have mini gates. Because that's six across, and that's seven across. Six across, seven across. Yeah, so this one here. Might have to do two minis. So this will be two with a stanchion and two. So it'll be stanchion, road gate, stanchion, road gate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Look, we're 30 minutes in. This is what we've planned as the exterior walls. Um, so this is all perimeter wall on the outside. Interior will be all concrete wall. 
I might make the guard towers out of concrete as well so that it gives them it makes them stand out because the uh, perimeter wall is a dark gray and the concrete wall is a lighter gray but you get the idea of what I'm doing everything is going to be locked down tight and secure we have plenty of time to do lots more planning when we come back in the next episode I am going to plan out the administration building um, the administration building visitation and parole is all going to be close to this gate and over here we're going to have uh, delivery building, uh, storage building, garbage building, export building. If we decide to, to do exports, I might as well have a building for it. We'll do reception. Um, we'll do holding cells and all that on the back. And we'll try to get those planned out in episode two. If you like the concept of what we're going to be doing here in Four Corners Penitentiary... Put them in the comments below, because I do read them. And if you have any suggestions, put them there as well. And with that, I will catch you next Friday for another episode of Felon Fridays with Prison Architect. Peace! That was a failure of epic proportions. Unacceptable.